Hello, hello, welcome back to Wheel of Games, where we're going to be playing some more Shogunners. Now, in this level, we were uh, going through the industrial sector, and we met Zoe, the heavy weapons specialist. But in looking over the checklist, it appears I have missed one loot box somewhere in the level. So being a completionist of uh, a sort, I'm going to pause this and go back through the level as much as I can, see if I can find it. Well, that didn't take long at all. It was actually right outside the last dungeon we went through there. So, Q1 and Q2. Let's see what we just picked up. Hmm. Decent damage. Better ammo, better range. Ooh. <laughs> so, comparing it to the poisoned, that's a bit, bit tough. But with the extra range... I do like the weapon. Yeah, the, the poison wasn't great. Oh, and everyone's gotten a whole bunch of skill points, too. Ah, extreme sabotage. Excellent, we're getting more robots as we go through. How's everyone else doing? I think we're saving up for rocket. Intimidation or pin down. Ooh, upgrades wind up. Nice. Love wind-up. So, we can upgrade right before then. We don't quite have enough nice for the next level of that, but we're close. Hopefully we can get it between our missions. And yeah, it was right around the corner. So, I believe this is going to be... Having found a new ally in Zoe, okay. Scarlet and Tibble are approaching the final arena of the night. Will the threesome help each other survive, or will they go down in flames together? Oh, this is tough. I do love the heavy weapons specialist stuff. But yeah, if there's one person I'm going to cut out, it's probably going to be the Warden. Which sucks, but he has awesome special abilities. I have the option of leaving out Scarlet, but her run and gun is also super useful. She needs some more upgrades, and we've got a new special boss coming in. Let's go. Cyber Carnage. This abandoned factory is home to some vintage industrial equipment. Show director Orion Ford is offering a bonus to the challengers if they can keep two of those classic generators in salvageable condition. Interesting. We must only have two because the objective says protect all of them. It doesn't do a ton of explosive damage. So where are we? We're across the center of the bottom. We've got some scum. 18 to 21, 21 to 24. Can I see his weapon? Okay, assault rifles and pistols. Ronin in the middle. And a matching pair of pistol scum over there. Anything further back? Nope, just some locked doors that we can make our way through. There we go. Sorry, I just fixed the sound. I realized the sound was not capturing for the game. Thankfully, I got that pretty early, so we didn't miss too much. Just uh, the announcer for a few seconds. As long as my audio is still good, looks like that was capturing the whole time. Okay, so let's get cracking. Tybalt should be able to swap with one of them, and. Get him out to there. And take on the appearance of oh, only one in range, but that's the one I wanted. Hopefully the other two can take a shot at him. Now Zoe. What's her overwatch range like? Not particularly great. How about Scarlet? A decent shooting range. If only I could angle this further down so I could see that guy's hit chance without having an extreme angle. Okay, 27%. Not great. But I can always use the unhittable and just try to run forward as fast as I can. 
What's her damage like these days? 17 to 21. It may take both hits to get this done. Let us not take a huge risk. Take a 69% shot. Not good enough. Okay, so I think we're going to have Zoe go over to this side. Fairly decent, but I have a feeling they're not even going to try it for now. Nope, he's not in the Take the shot. Maybe should have had her go first. Miss Scarlet could have started trying to change. Getting this sword to... I was hoping shoot at that. And just a double move forward. Hey. Oh, that's gonna hurt the value on that collector's item. Uh, don't increase it. These are famous bullets. Okay, they were pretty much ignoring this. Those generators will be gone, along with the reward for the challengers. Okay. I might as well reload because after I move and hit the first guy, I only have one action left anyway. Switch over to Zoe. That's a hundred percent shot. Interesting. I could straight up kill her with that, but if I instead move her forward as much as her limited little legs can move, and then take the shot, Scarlet can chain again. She can still do an assault chain. What's that percentage? 55. Not great. And you know that now he's got the sword out, he just wants to do a move and attack with that. These pesky jerks. So let's see. Disable their weapons. It's still not that great. I'm gonna put a shield on. No, I can't put a shield on the box. If he takes the shot, then he's just going to get shot at himself. I want them to shoot the scum, they're not obliging. Put it in front. And I'll move forward again. Hopefully between us, we can block some of them from shooting. Now, how are we going to handle Scarlet over here? Just set up and take the shot. He's probably going to get hit by the samurai if he's going... Nope, okay. He's not doing anything much. He's double moving over to there. Ugh. They're doing their best to uh, ignore all of my subterfuge. And all of them are coming in soon. Get a decent shot in on them, but... Er... 34%? 52? Not good shots going in over there, and now Zoe's out in the open. Just wind up and overlock. She's in no rush. And her, I've just got it. Get these guys. Okay, 94%. I can have Tibble to finish off the Ronin. percent unless I go out and do a highly hittable 
ranges. So it was the only one left to act too. Well, if they shoot at me, they won't be shooting at the dang generator, and Paulo Tybalt is still there if they ever decide to hit it. Okay. There. We just need to make this. And deny the other team actions. He's running all the way out. Overwatch is better than the other alternatives. Paulo Tybalt did nothing. Okay, but we did at least set up for a shot against them. Well, whoever that was is not going to be part of this level. So, scum with an uh, assault rifle. Another Ronin. But now I need to get these guys back here to try to save that generator. If things work out, like if we get the better part of that, maybe Scarlet can hit him and then still take an overwatch or something useful. Oh, 15? I don't think that's enough. Yeah, at best she can do the 15. Where's her two? Okay. It ends there. Fully shootable by those guys, but I need to kill these. Let's see, yeah, 100. Oh, no. Need to get these kills. Can't risk the 13 to 15 on this. But Zoe is way out in the open. Come on, let me see what those numbers are without an extreme turning of the camera. Okay, get to cover, start winding up. Winding up for a devastating shot. Yep, yeah, that's getting low. Switching with him isn't going to do anything useful. This is the point where Sabotage Duration disable its weapons for a couple of turns and start doing damage. Let's just have Tybalt focus on this guy. As long as he can't attack, that generator will be safe. I need more damage, but he'll be out for a couple of turns. Only 75%? See, his cover is all over on that side. Because, yeah, the attack is minimum 30 at this point. So let's just get that 100% shot. He'll go down. Okay. And now we've got a Ronin over here to play with Scarlet. 75% chance. Good enough. Okay. And it's mostly just this Ronin that can really act. Yep, and took out the sword. That's case scenario for me. That's basically a not doing anything move. Ooh. And the challengers might want to start praying now, because here comes a bishop! These fanatical snipers may not be heaven sent, but they are hell bent on sending challengers to meet their maker. Okay, they buff other enemies. And seize all? Looks like he's got a, a scoped rifle there. And so it's him and an ogre in that back room. Oh, two ogres. Oh, neat. He's got a little shooty window back there. Anything else that I can use? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, Tybalt is going to continue having some good shooty times with this friend. I'll be able to kill him with the shot. 
but he will be low enough that the next one will definitely go. Now Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. I can definitely reload, hit the Ronin, and then chain into something else. The real question is just, what's the something else going to be? Because now I'm surrounded by these ogres and this bishop character. It doesn't have seemed to be particularly tough. Let's see how oh I can actually get into that room. Okay, let's use our unhittable. Maybe we can lure the ogres back into that room. And take our shot at the bishop from here. If the ogres come back in. Okay, it's this turn. Bishop's paralyzed. Okay, so now we've got Zoe. Okay, should be taken care of so Zoe can play offense. Lost the stacks she had. Yeah, moving slow is still a huge issue for her. But she does a minimum of 20. She's got a 75% chance of killing that bishop here. 100% chance of hitting Ogre, but he's likely to get hit herself. I mean, 91% from where she is, she could just uh, wind up and start milling down that baby. A moment to wind up her weapon. I was hoping the extreme wind-up was going to be a direct upgrade. But he's also immobilized. So that means he's out of the action for a turn. And then a shot. Good. Miss. Oh, and one of the generators is toast! Was that the bishop? Well, we failed an objective for what seems like the first time here. That guy's got a very long range. He did not even try to hit the unhittable guard. Unfortunate. More bullets, more fun. Okay, well, let's get this gun out of the way. Ah, should have taken that 75% shot at the bishop. But now she is very hittable. Let's see, still has a uh, very good shot at that guy. Wind up and hit him again. Let's just move up and shoot him again. As long as I'm counteracting his healing, that should keep him in uh, regeneration mode. I'm directly on the other side. The ogre shouldn't take a shot at me, but I can still whittle him down again. The bishop, that is. And maybe kill him. Okay, bad. And even in the worst case, this ogre shouldn't kill her. He'll just... Okay. So we're still in a commanding position in this one. Just a... Uh, Unlucky shot. He's picked his gun back up. Do something about that. She wants to make the next shot count. Mobilized again. Let's see, we need the full double move to get him, but we can still get him and then go into Overwatch to uh, ambush our other ogre. The end of the ogre. Now there's only one of them left. Where is he going to go? My guess would be towards Tybalt. Okay, yep, that was a double move. Hmm. Well, I can sabotage so he can't even attack. Thing when devil's around. And now we can just move them without much worry. We 
Can you get anywhere where you can shoot at him? Not easily. Let's get over here. Pretty much the same thing with Scarlet. Make that attack. Assault there. Okay. Oh, that also disabled his regeneration. Good to know that. I don't have a kill count for each person, but Scarlet's already reached Rampage. Ah, that one's good. Oh, we'll just move up. Look for melee. Yeah, not enough. It's your melee. In combination, it's not. Hmm. Okay. With one of the generators still more or less intact, the contestants managed to win the challenge while earning some extra cash. Okay. Everyone's leveled up. And nano probes. One rampage. Nice. And that's it! Yet another explosive huh, I was expecting a plot twist in there. How strong are the bonds forged in the fires of the industrial zone? We'll find out in tomorrow night's episode, set in the disaster area, where another new defender is preparing a warm welcome for the contestants. For Homicidal All Stars, I'm Joe oh, Stern. Looks like they've Good also night, got a heavy everyone. weapon. Looks like a fireman's hat. Okay. Muertas pose no threat to the warden. Yeah, he's a robot. Okay. Skill points. What was I going for? I'm almost certain more melee damage is something I want for her, because I keep giving her all those uh, chain combos. But now her melee damage is maxed. Or isn't going to be enough to get. Let's get one thing. You can get the rocket barrage, although I'm not using him much anymore because they both have excellent. Uh... I gotta sub him in at least once, maybe in one of the optional arenas to see this rocket barrage in action. Ah, yes, more movement range, please. <laughs> now she's maxed with that. Mm. Okay. Now, it showed us she had a... Oh, okay, we picked up another weapon. Ionic Weave Penetration. So she's good against a specific other type of... armor, so I guess we won't get into that. Oh, she got an implant. Just extra health, but it's better than nothing. And yeah, we still need some more nice points. from production here. This message is intended for Scarlet, Tybalt, and Zoe. The audience seems to enjoy your team up, so we're going to keep letting you work That's as a group convenient. for now. But to keep things balanced, we're establishing a maximum of allied contenders allowed in certain areas. That's two contestants in non-combat areas and ambushes, three in combat arenas. Other contestants in your group will remain in the resting area and can be summoned before entering combat. Please note that the Warden counts as a contestant for the purposes right. of this rule. We're never going to get to fight with all four, maybe Balance. at the end of the game. Sure. Whatever you say, Nicole. Okay. Well, let's check out... Oh, we can interact with the wheel this time? Quite a ways down. Is there a force field down there? I can't imagine there's never been a contestant who tried to self-eliminate. Uh, they moved on our floor. Look at me. Did they move any of Using the crew seven here? Of course not. It's called okay, suicide, no. Maria. That would make sense. And no one cares. We got more cleaning to do now. Hey, more cleaning means more hours, right? <sighs> yeah, you got a point, I suppose. 
they don't have anything to say. This should give us some there points. Go on then, sit. After these messages. You know what? I've had it with Ford's tricks and twists and all that bullshit. I know this is an entertainment show, but come on. At least make it fair. You know I'm doing well, so just keep throwing up new roadblocks. What are you gonna do next? Drop fucking anthrax on the arena? Asshole! Bet that confessional didn't make it on air. The audience doesn't care about fairness, and neither does Ford. It's like I said, I am here for the money. And yeah, it would be great to get it all for myself. But Richter, Fly, and Phantom are good people. We've kept each other safe so far. So, if you're asking me if I'd rather stab them in the back than share the winnings, then the answer is no. That clear enough for you? Looks like we're not the only ones who've teamed up out there. Okay. So they're planting the idea of betrayal in our minds. And if there's another team, maybe we have to face off against the other team at some point. We rarely see the kind of teamwork your group has been displaying on the show. Ah, I need three, not two. Do you two. think this approach will pay off? But I still need a bunch of... The more people things. I have around me, the more I have to watch my back. But the benefits outweigh the risk. So, you're worried about another challenger turning on you. If it's in their best interest, they might. I don't think it's in their best interest, though. For now. At least. Good stuff tonight. Thank you, Scarlet. Uh, I was hoping for a three-er there. But you've gotten us our next uh, fame prize. Let's go around the arena. If there's any more stuff to find. I wonder how many defenders are still lined up. We've seen so many already. Ah, plenty of death row prisoners in the country to last them, I guess. An endless supply. Come on, ask her. Shh, she'll hear you. Something you need? Oh, um, I was wondering if I could take a pic with you? I... sure. I told you she'd say yes. Shut up! But nothing for us to actually do to take that picture. I hear that Omega bought up a new lot for this season. They call it the Disaster Zone, apparently the site of some big-ass electrochemical disaster. Been off-limits until recently, but someone must have pulled some strings. Sounds like a perfect place to get electrocuted. Wonder if I can bribe Nicole to get me some rubber boots. Great. Like being shot at isn't enough. Maybe we'll now skip we're bringing get Warden to the next area. <laughs> Any more things up here? It's our room. Anything at the bar? About Tybalt. So, you gonna tell the big woman everything? I wasn't planning to. Well, she might be less gracious than me when she eventually finds out about your ulterior motives. Then let's make sure she doesn't. And if she makes it to the end with us? We'll worry about it then. Uh-huh. Oh, better hope she never wanders by your quarters while you're screaming in your sleep. Oh, he's disappeared and now we can... Gotta admit, I'm starting to wonder if I might have had a better chance of survival on the inside. Probably should have spent more time studying up on this show before committing to it as my salvation. Oh well. What's done is done. And at least I've got one person in this madhouse I can trust. Yay. That means a lot. Likewise, Tybalt. Okay, Tybalt's not so bad. Where it's telling me to go. Tybalt moved over there. Well, if our quarters are over there, then... No, that's definitely our quarters. Well, let's check out the hotel side. Anyone at the front desk? No. Ah, uh, Zoe. So, you planning to stick with that Walmart rifle of yours through this whole thing? I didn't even notice the brand. Kinda what I figured. If you switch to our Lucky Punk M69, I can make it worth your while. What? 
As long as you mention the name at least once per episode. You know, product placement. Uh, but... I mean, sure, they jam a bit more than they probably should, but we're working on that. <laughs> I think I'll stick with this one. For now, anyway. Your call. Let me know if you change your mind. Okay. Oh, sir. I saw our old ads in the arena today. Why aren't the new ones up yet? The ads showing me using our gear on the show need to be everywhere. This is literally why I'm here, remember? Oh, and tell the graphics guy to remove the other contestants from the shots. Like, you know, I don't need any backup if I'm in lucky punk gear. No, not that exact line. Have the copywriters sexy it up. Going for the old soft sell, huh, Zoe? Hey, hacker dude. Think you could hack me? You mean your exoskeleton? Uh, yeah, I guess so. That would be so messed up. You could make me do anything you want, right? Like, I don't know, dance ballet or something? Ballet? Why? Is that something you'd like to do? What? No, of course. No, I mean, do I look like a ballerina to you? <laughs> do I look like someone who always wanted to try ever since she was a little girl but never got the chance? Uh... I, uh... I think I'll head to the gym. Get some reps in. <laughs> Yet she's still here. Oh, nothing for him. I think this is our last spot to check. Be at the gym. There is another. Well, there's multiple other bucks left that I'm not expecting any more people. I think we've hit everywhere now. Except the shop, I suppose. Oh, a whole bunch of new, new stuff. And yeah, this is five points more in damage. Oof, pretty good. Oof, although the effective range is way back down. <laughs> that part sucks. Ah, uh, good weapon. Ah, uh, that's another really good weapon. With her wind-up ability, that would get her oh, closer to killing something really, really fast. Uh, this is not enough to upgrade. I think those are the last set of upgrades. This one is probably worth it for me, though. The other ones, I don't think so. Maybe this one, if I've got enough I guess I do have enough for exactly those two. Oof. Oh. There we go. Let's get rid of some of the old... I guess I'm not hurting on the fame level, so I don't really need to. Yeah, that weapon doesn't look like that weapon. Do they always just... Yeah, I guess they don't change to reflect. Okay, that's... We'll go to sleep, see if there's a cutscene in between, and then that will probably wrap us up for this one. Really? No nightmares this time. No one else out there? So no more audio logs to find. Okay. Well, in that case, that's going to do it for today's episode of Shogunners. The last couple of were a little bit extra long. This one's a little bit shorter than I think I'd like, but it's also it's just a really good natural stopping point. So that's going to do it for today. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.